Hey, how's it going RC drivers? Welcome back to the workshop. I'm about to show you something so cool. It might be one of the best releases of 2020. It is from Losi and they have been pumping out some really cool stuff lately. We saw the SBR 2.0 come out recently, the Mini B, and now we have the Losi LMT. Let's check this thing out. And there it is, the Gravedigger LMT. How cool does this truck look? A ready to run solid axle monster truck. And this thing is loaded with features and details that you guys want to see. Now, I know some of you are here just for the action. So what I'll do is I'll put a time key down below in the description. So if you want to jump to that, that's totally cool. But I really suggest you stay for all the features. I went and pulled this truck apart and I'm going to tell you every single detail you need to know about it. You know, all the durability features and all the tuning features on it and just the cool factor overall of a lot of the stuff that is on this truck. All right, so let's dive right into it. And first up, of course, we have this Grave Digger body. Now, this is actually going to be available in two different liveries, the Grave Digger, obviously, and there'll also be a Son of a Digger truck. And uh, let's get into the details of the body. Uh, obviously, it's got the Grave Digger shape. It's got the grill cut out. It actually has the rear section cut out as well. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, windows are cut out. So, you know, there's no trimming involved, as you would expect from a ready-to-run body. Uh, it is printed and there are decals. So uh, the, the paint up front here is printed. And then there's actually decals kind of all over here. So up top, we've got some decals. Uh, these big decals on the side uh, are, are stuck on very well. Just I noticed a little bit of bubbling in the corners. And uh, you know, just so guys know, you could just hit this with a hair dryer to, to knock it back down. Uh, when these trucks are shipped, they go through a lot of temperature changes. And that's what kind of has the, the decals come up a little bit. It's just the nature of decals and uh, it happens on a lot of vehicle. So like I said, hit it with a hair dryer, push it down and you'd be set to go. But other than that, very cool look, a little rounded, but uh, I think it really fits the part, looks really good. The other thing that's very cool on this is the, the headlights. So we've got the chrome ring around here and then we have tinted lenses. And of course there are LED lights behind it. That's really cool that they included that. Now, the other thing that I do want to point out, you don't see any body clips, do you? No body clips on the top. What we do have are the screw and washers that we're seeing on a lot of low-C vehicles now, uh, such as the SBR 2.0 over there. Uh, but uh, what's really cool is no body clips. It looks a lot more scale like this. So to take the body off, there's actually four clips underneath. So there's two in the front that I'm going to remove here. There's two uh, on the sides, sorry, one on each side, and then there are screws in the back for the pivot. So it'll actually pivot up. I've removed the screws because we're gonna talk about all, all the details, but here's what's underneath. Look at that, a full roll cage under there. Very, very cool. You can see the LED light wires there. And uh, you know that will offer some structure to the truck. So when you're flipping over and landing on it, you know this inner structure is basically going to help you out. Now, the other thing I do want to point out is we do have a driver figure in there. Uh, he's got a, a mold, separate molded head. We've got some decals to bump up the scale factor and even the driver support. So there's a little cushion around the driver. So they, you know, added some extra details in there and uh, really made that a good looking body. I like that. All right, I put that aside and now we can take a look at the truck itself. And this thing is really awesome. And there's tons of stuff to talk about. Please bear with me, uh, trust me, you're going to want to see all that I have to say and show you guys. Just lots of thought was put into this truck and, and I really like what they've done here. So let's start off with the tires actually, because these are pretty awesome. So we've got this really deep lug Chevron tread. Uh, there's an open cell foam on the inside. The tire feels really good. Now, this is an offset wheel on here. So we've got uh, you know a, a painted B lock on the outside. Uh, the proper diameter to make it look scale. And then on the inside, it's offset like a short course wheel is. So this gives you all the clearance that you need. Um, it's a performance tire, performance wheel setup. So uh, I, you know, I think this is going to perform really well. What's even cooler is we have an eight millimeter lock nut in there and there is a hub adapter in, uh, on the back side of this. So there's a couple things about these hub adapters. So it's set up from the factory for 17 millimeter hexes. Underneath that black adapter in there, there's a uh, cast 17 millimeter hex. Now you'll be able to swap the hexes out, the adapters out from what I understand. So if you wanna go and take and run these uh, wheels on let's say your SMT10, uh, from what I understand, they'll have a, a black adapter that, that will go down to 12 millimeter. 
And then if you want to run, let's say some Proline tires and uh, wheels on here, they, you could go ahead and buy an optional 12 millimeter hex to go on the axle. You will have to drill out the rim a little bit, but you'll be able to put other uh, wheels and tires on this truck. So uh, they already kind of thought about everything that, that people would want to do and they're gonna allow you to uh, you know, swap out tires and wheels if you want to. All right, next up, before I move on to other details, I did wanna point out these side guards here. This is where these side mounts attach to uh, for that roll cage. Just wanted to point that out really quick. Also wanted to point out the headers on the side. So on each side of this, there will be headers to give the extra scale factor. And then we have the decal uh, sponsor plates here, the Lexan plates with all of the sponsor logos uh, on both sides, which just, again, adds to the scale factor, cool factor of this monster truck. Really liking the way this looks. All right, now let me spin it back around. And I think we're going to talk about the chassis first. So this is an aluminum plate chassis, twin vertical plate. However, it is a multi-plate chassis. So this plate right here is one plate. We've got the center plate and then we've got the rear plate. And that's the same for both sides. And uh, all together, it makes for a really rigid structure. Of course, there's composite cross braces throughout this. Here is the front brace. That's where your front body mounts go into. Uh, there's some braces down below. And let me spin this thing around. There's obviously some braces out back. We also have a fuel cell out back. And uh, again, just kind of adds to the scale factor since the back of the body is open, which I didn't show you guys before. So there it is. Uh, the back side of the body is open. You'll be able to see this. And uh, again, adds to the, the scale factor. Now it's not crazy scale, but uh, it does have a wheelie bar. And of course you're going to need a wheelie bar on this thing because you're going to be doing stunts with it. So it's appropriate that it's there and that it's actually adjustable. There are two positions on here, so you could change the uh, the angle of the wheelie bar. Uh, but what's very, very cool is they have this roller out back instead of little wheels that could kind of, you know, guide you, you know, uh, as you're doing wheelies, this roller will do a lot better job of just allowing you to go straight. And it is uh, ball bearing supported as well. You can see the ball bearings in there. So I definitely like the way that looks, like the way it operates, like that you could tune it as well. All right, so um, that's pretty much the, the center of the chassis. Uh, there is an electronics plate here, obviously, and then we do have this uh, the battery tray. And again, this battery tray is adjustable. So let me talk about this, because this is pretty cool. So it looks like your standard battery tray. This is a rubber strap that holds down the battery pack. So it's just hinged right here, and then it uh, kind of clips in, in the back. And uh, as it's set up right now, this is a 2S strap. And then in the kit, they give you a little bit longer of a strap for those that want to run a 3S pack that may be a little bit taller. But the tuning features don't end with just uh, the battery strap alone. They also give you these guide plates that you can go and put in these slots that are in here. So you could go and put a shorty pack in and then adjust your weight bias if you want to. So again, tunability in this truck and uh, they really thought of a lot of details that guys are gonna want out of a solid axle monster truck. All right, now let's get into the steering really quickly. The main link here is a composite plastic. However, it does have a metal rod on the inside. So you can see these reliefs here and uh, inside those reliefs is where the metal bar is. So it still is a little bit flexible, but uh, you know, it does have that metal bar for additional support. It's not just a composite link. And we've got a short link here over to the servo saver. And this is an adjustable servo saver. Very cool, very A-scale-like in setup and design. We've got an aluminum uh, base here, and then uh, the servo saver spring, your adjusting nut, and uh, they will have optional spline mounts. So you go and adjust it, you know, let's say if you have an optional servo that uh, doesn't have the 23 tooth spline count of a Spectrum servo, they will have options for you. But the servo itself is attached to this uh, servo mount plate. It's a composite plate. This is one thing where, you know, aftermarket manufacturers, if you're watching this, uh, someone get on that because this is something I would like to see available in aftermarket. It does seem pretty solid uh, and uh, actually it's really not moving at all, but th that's just something I would like to see personally. Uh, that's something I would spend my money on when it comes to, to buying option parts. And I know there's, there's going to be option parts for this. I've been told that they are working on option parts. 
and I'm sure aftermarket support manufacturers are going to come out with stuff as well. But that's your steering makeup. Now let's get into the axles. The axles are massive on this thing. Look at the size of this. Those are huge. <laughs> I mean, that just screams bulky right there. So I think it's going to hold up to a lot of freestyle events. And, uh, you know, those guys that are out there just bashing this thing, I think this is going to hold up. So this is obviously composite plastic. What I really like here is the mounting bosses for everything are separate. So I'm sure we're going to see uh, aluminum versions of that available. But uh, again, it's just from the cool factor. If you just want to stick with the composites, if it ever does break, you can swap it out versus swapping out a whole entire axle assembly. So that's very cool. Now, moving to the outside of the axle, there's a caster block here and it's actually adjustable from the factory. Uh, I believe, uh, of course, I'm on the spot here, but I believe it comes set at zero, but there is a five degree option. So you could go and swap it out uh, and have five degrees of caster in there just by removing the screws, clocking it a little bit and putting the screws back in. So again, adjustability. Then on the outside, look at these massive steering knuckles in here, just tons of composite plastic. We've got pins that are secured with screws uh, from the outside here uh, to make sure that stays in place, you know, much better than any sort of screw pin or anything like that, like that design. And then the steering arms themselves are bolted onto the steering knuckle. So I'm guessing that we might see optional uh, steering arms as well, but everything really bulky. Just look at the size of that stuff on there. All right, we, we also kind of hit on the mounts a little bit, but uh, one thing I want to point out before I forget is look at this eyelet here and uh, up here as well. This kind of looks to me like it was made so uh, you could put a limiting strap on here. Uh, I think it's going to clear the sway bar, um, but I just wanted to point that out. I think we might see something like that come out. But let's get back to the axle and inside is a A-scale differential. So we have A-scale differentials in the front, in the center, and in the rear as well. And they're basically like the low Z8 differentials, uh, steel ring and pinion gear in there, steel internal gears. It's got the composite gear case on there, uh, full ball bearings throughout. But what's very, very cool is it has the right oils already set in the differentials. So there's 100,000 weight in the front, 500,000 in the center and uh, uh, 100,000 in the rear as well. And the axles on the front, excuse me, the universals on the front are steel. So look at the size of the universals there. Definitely have the bulk that you're going to need to, to handle these tires, handle running on a 3S with a brushless system. Again, everything is, is really bulked up throughout this. And uh, that's what's really cool about this truck. I think it's going to handle a lot of fun and freestyle events. All right. Flipped it around to the rear, pretty much the same stuff going on on the inside, except from the differential, which again, oil filled differential. Uh, we do have dog bones in the back that go out to the, uh, the steel axle shafts. And uh, we have lockouts in the rear, of course, instead of the steering knuckles. Now, what's really cool about these lockouts is from the factory, these are three degree. They also give you additional lockouts in the box that are zero degree. So you have that tunability there as well. Very cool. Just loving all this, you know, detail that I see, you know, right from the factory, uh, you, you have these options to tune your truck the way you want it to handle. But this thing is set up to have fun and perform well. Uh, I keep mentioning tuning features you don't need to. These guys really put a lot of R&D into this to make sure it's going to handle well. All right, uh, we've talked about the, the front and rear axles. Actually, let me talk about the center really quick. I gotta flip it over to talk to you guys about that. So uh, here is the lower skid plate and you can kind of see there's a plate in the center there. That is how you access the center diff. It drops out from the bottom. So you unscrew that plate and then you uh, remove two bearing caps in the front and rear and then you could drop out the differential. Of course, tune your oils and stuff and it's got uh, all metal gears on the inside of that as well. Now to get the power from the center to the front and rear, we have these slider drive shafts that have got you know, metal yokes on it. We've kind of seen this design before from Losi and uh, we know it works. These look like they're the appropriate size for this truck. All right, now let me flip it all the way around because I need to talk to you guys about some other features under this cover right here. 
So we've got an aluminum motor plate, obviously, and it is uh, cut or excuse me, drilled out. So you could easily put the different pinion gears on if you want to swap out pinion gears. It's etched on the aluminum so you know what position to put the motor in if you do swap out the, uh, the pinion gear. And then right below it is a metal idler gear and then uh, ball bearings, of course. And then we have the metal transfer gear. But under the plate of that gear down here is a elastomer. It's, it's a rubber insert, basically like a cushion drive. And that is going to absorb any shock to the drive line because, you know, landing with a big monster truck, there is shock to the drive line. Now, what's cool about the center diff here is it's going to help with the performance. There isn't too much give in it. It acts more like a spool um, and they are, they're actually going to have a spool because I think some monster truck racing events uh, will only allow a spool in the center, not a center diff. Um, so that will be an option, but it, it's basically it, the center diff is so heavy in oil that it kind of acts like a spool, but it still has that cushion in there as well to protect your drive line. Very cool stuff. Again, I mean, I keep saying that, but it truly is guys. I, I'm really excited about all the stuff I'm seeing on this truck. All right. So now let's get onto the suspension. These are 22 uh, TLR 22 style shocks and they are an aluminum body. We've got threads on here so we could adjust the preload. We have an aluminum cap up top, even with a bleeder screw. However, it's not an emulsion shock setup. There is a bladder on the inside, so it's bladder compensated right now. Uh, I believe it was 25 weight oil in the front and rear shocks. We've got thick shock shafts, rubber bump stops on the bottom. And then if you look very closely right here, you could see a yellow mark. And that's because we've got tune springs on here rather than just some generic spring. There's actually blue springs in the rear, yellow in the front. So this is again, tuned from the factory. Now, one more thing I would like to point out is the shock mount, the upper shock mount. Usually we see a screw coming off the chassis and the shock is mounted to that. And here you can see we have a separate perch. And what's cool about this is it allows the shock to travel without binding. So when the, you know, the axle rotates up on a regular shock, the shock is then pushing against the, the chassis basically, but here it allows it to, you know, uh, basically pivot naturally on the pivot ball. So you won't have that binding effect up here. Uh, what's also uh, something to note is the holes that are in the chassis here. So look at all these different holes. These are all optional shock mounting positions, so you could sweep this thing forward. Uh, you could also drop the shock down if you want to get some more travel out of it. So again, a lot more tuning features. And then I'm sure you guys have seen this uh, as you've been watching this video. We've got sway bars, front and rear sway bars, aluminum from the factory, aluminum arm out here, uh, composite plastic link, of course, but uh, metal ball ends throughout and really cool that they give this to you from the factory and you can go ahead and tune this if you want to you could go out and uh, buy different music wire let's say from a craft store get something a little bit thicker if you want to go swap this out make it a bit firmer you can do that but i really like that it's aluminum and uh you know you don't need to purchase that right off the bat and it's basically the same out back here in, in the rear so it drops down to the axle mount and uh you know, that will definitely help with the handling of this truck. All right, so we've talked about the axles, we've talked about uh, the transmission. Uh, since we're on the suspension, let me flip the truck back over again and talk about the links. So we're four link front and four link rear. These are nine millimeter aluminum links. You know, look at these heavy duty rod ends on here. We've got metal pivot balls. Um, so the suspension is done right on here. And there is adjustment in the center as well. So if you wanna go and adjust the, the link height, you can do that. And uh, again, just lots of adjustability. All right, I think it's time to move on to the electronics. So up front here, there is the 614S servo. Now, you know, I, we've seen this on a number of low C vehicles before, but the S means it's a steel gear servo. And that means it's going to be really strong for, you know, steering these wheels, putting up with the, uh, the hits that it's going to take. It's obviously high torque. And then, uh, you know, we go back here to the spectrum receiver inside of this box. Now, this isn't a watertight receiver box. There isn't any uh, rubber gasket or anything inside there. Just be aware of that. Um, then you know, we've got a little antenna mount. And then over here, we've got the Spectrum Fermo uh, 130 amp speed controller that we've seen uh, coming on a lot of their new vehicles. 
uh, waterproof, fan cooled. We've got these large capacitors over here, uh, nice size wires going down to the motor, and then an EC5 plug so you can pump some power through this thing. And uh, of course, this is fully tunable. Uh, they, you know, you could go and use the instruction manual to adjust, uh, let's say, like the drag brake on there. But uh, you know, the other thing to note is I heard this uh, truck can do up to 35 miles an hour right out of the box on 3S. So that's pretty fast. And if you're doing that, I would suggest to you, uh, you know, maybe tame your drag brake down a little bit in your speed controller. Uh, but down in here, you can notice the, uh, the Spectrum Fermo 3150 kV motor. Again, that's gonna give you plenty of power. So you could do 35 miles an hour if you wanted to, or you know, you've got plenty of power for doing your tricks. And uh, yeah, that's just a great electronics package overall. All right, so I think I got everything. I know this was long, but again, you guys needed to see all this stuff. There's a lot of great features on here uh, that really needed to be explained. Uh, there's the box that it comes in back here. And over here, I have the stuff that comes in the box. So. We've got uh, the instruction manual, of course. We've got our DX3 radio system, and this is, has the telemetry on there. So if you're using smart batteries, you could actually see the battery voltage up here in these LED lights. And uh, we've got all the basic uh, trim functions you need, even a steering rate knob as well. And then down here is the stuff that comes in the box. So there is that battery strap that I was telling you about. Uh, here are the rear lockouts, the zero degree rear lockouts. These are the battery stops that uh, allow you to use a shorty pack in the battery tray. And then they even give you extra body posts. So if you want to mount a, an, an optional potty on the truck, you can do that. However, there is one thing I want to note. I'm just going to back out here a little bit. You can kind of see this is a pretty long chassis. I'm kind of wondering what the fitment of uh, aftermarket bodies is going to be like. It looks a little bit long in my opinion, so I just want to throw that out there. Something to note when you are, uh, if you do want to swap out the body on this. All right guys, it's time to go and take this thing out for a drive. I'm going to do my best at some freestyle stuff and uh, you know, show you how this new monster truck works.
right guys, time to blast around with the LMT. And I've been driving this thing all morning. It is insane. We're on 3S right now. And there's just tons of power to, to pull the front wheels up off the ground and carry it. Really cool stuff. Actually, this pack is probably three quarters done at this point. Still tons of punch from these smart batteries. <laughs> Look at this thing. Yeah. Not a lot of traction on this loose stuff. I've been trying to do some stoppies, but uh, the, the tires are just sliding. So, but it does, definitely does a lot of wheelies. Loves doing wheelies as soon as you pull the throttle. Yeah, look at that thing, how fast it is. And it's really controllable too. I mean, I've had this thing up on two wheels, you know, on its side and it just, you just pull it right back out. It's so easy to, to control. You know, there's a lot of rocks out here. So yeah, it kind of juts around here and there. When it hits a rock, those front tires just kind of guide it around. But but this thing, it's just so much fun to drive. Look at that. <laughs> just kind of collects itself. Oh, knocked over a cone. Look at that. Wheelies galore with this thing. Oh, one flip. Oh. And there it is, my pack is done. All right, I gotta swap out packs. That's what's really cool about this radio system. When you're using the, the smart batteries, you get to see that your, your battery level is low and it even indicates, you know, when it's time to swap it out, which it is right now. All right, let me go change this thing up. All right, so it's super easy to swap out the battery. We just gotta remove those four clips I told you guys about earlier. There we go, four clips out and just pop the body up like that. Actually, you gotta watch out for the lead here because that's your LED lights. You kinda wanna unplug that. You don't want it to do it by itself, but uh, it happened there. And then just uh, pull out on this rubber strap, take the battery out, new pack. And this is actually the 2S battery strap, the one that comes on it. So it's a little tight getting it on. Kinda have to slide it down under that hook. There we go. Hopefully you guys saw that. And now we'll just plug this thing back in. Nice. We'll flip this over. We'll get our LED lights plugged in. Gotta have your LED lights. There we go. And now just settle the body mount back on. You might have to, uh, actually my battery wires are in the way. Might have to guide the rear end just a little bit, but that's it. Now we'll put the body clips back in. We'll head back out. All right, let's find a little spot to go and jump this thing because it jumps so well. I mean, with those big tires, it's just a nice plush landing. I'm going to use the berm here as my jump like I always do. And uh, I'm really impressed with the way this thing jumps for a solid axle monster truck. Look at that. <laughs> it kind of just does tricks all on its own. You're not expecting it, but uh, it kind of just, just throws something at you. Something really cool when you're not expecting it. Look at that. Yeah, see how smooth that thing landed? Nice and plush for a solid axle monster truck. This thing almost handles like it's independent suspension. I'm really impressed with the way it handles. Look at that. <laughs> a little tap of the brakes. Gave it a little rocker action there. Yeah, little bounce. It just looks cool. Looks the part of a scale monster truck. Whoa, <laughs> loving this thing. Where has solid axle monster trucks been for me? I mean, I, I have been missing out. This stuff is so much fun. This truck is making it a lot of fun for me. Wow. <laughs> let's see, let's get, see, get some big air. Oh, kind of hit the low part, but still that was cool. Let's come off the backside. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. The brake control on this is awesome. <laughs> through the rocks now that was kind of a big jump look at that i'm just gonna mob through those rocks no problem yeah <laughs> i've got a problem with that cone over there just right at it yeah <laughs> so cool look at this thing oh two wheels two wheels two wheels Whoa. oh my god this thing just impresses Wow, I I was gonna I was gonna say I was gonna have to go flip that over, but nope. All right, time for some fun in my favorite spot here, the berm. And I love the way the dirt flies off of this truck. Look at that! <laughs> it just 
pulls up on two wheels, bicycles through that corner. Whoa, got a little crazy. Just keep punching the throttle. It's actually kind of fun just to keep blipping the throttle because it pulls the wheels up. It kind of makes this thing get a little wild and it's just really cool to watch. Look at that. <laughs> that servo saver is just kind of giving way, but it's understandable. Whoa. And we went off off-roading. Back it out of here. <laughs> yeah. Woo. All right. Rip through here again. <laughs> I love the way the dirt flies. I, I said it before, but I gotta say it again. Watch this. Yeah. <laughs> that is cool. I am having so much fun with this truck. This guys, I just noticed my first broken part on this truck. Uh, the rear brace broke here and now I'm missing my wheelie bar. So that is a bit of a bummer. All right, but at least we know what to look for on this truck. Let's go back to do some more jumps because we don't need the wheelie bar for jumps. All right, here we go. Whoa. Wow, that is cool. A truck that goes this fast, that jumps and lands it. It's a solid axle monster truck. This is, this is more than a racing truck. This is just a truck that anybody can have fun with. Look at that, pop back up. Still on the wheels. I mean, really, anybody could have fun with this truck. I think this is going to open up solid axle monster trucks for a lot of people. Yeah, <laughs> big crash and still on the wheels. This thing is cool. I think the Losi guys did a great job. All right, one more jump here. Let's get some big air. Hopefully get some big air. Yeah. Nice. Oh, oh, and a crash at the end. All right, guys, I'll go collect it up. We'll head back to the workshop and talk about the LMT. All right, drivers, it's time to wrap up the review of the Losi LMT. And I have to tell you, those guys on YouTube that are driving RC monster trucks, doing tricks and freestyle type stuff, they know what they're doing. I tried to do some of that stuff and it is not easy. I have a lot of practice ahead of me and I'm looking forward to it. But basically what I did is I put this thing through a basher situation. I took this thing over to the skate park. I took it to a BMX track and I took it to a dirt lot and I just had fun with it, just bashing it around. And I think that's what a lot of people are going to do with it. And you are going to be pleasantly surprised at the performance and what this thing can do. It's a lot of fun, so much so that I have been driving this thing nonstop, even with the camera off. It is just that cool to drive. Now, Losi, they built a tank here. This truck put up with a lot of crashes, a lot of cartwheels, a lot of endos, and it just, you know, there's there was some breakage. I'll get to that later, but uh, it is a tough, tough truck. Now, what really stands out here is the speed on this thing, number one. It is fast. I, I drove it on 2S for a little bit, drove it on 2S at the skate park in the action portion that you guys saw. Uh, and, and that was fine, but on 3S, this thing is just so cool. Uh, just really so easily on 3S. Uh, the, the tricks are a lot better. Uh, the jumps are obviously a lot better. Uh, the power on tap that this thing has, I think is going to be a lot of fun for a lot of people. I mean, it's brushless, it's 3S capable. How cool is that? It is truly fun. Um, the other thing that really stood out to me on this truck is the handling. Uh, there was times where I thought I was driving an independent suspension truck. That's how well this thing was handling. The only thing that you'd really tell that it was a solid axle monster truck is when these large tires hit something, sometimes it veers off. I'm, and that's what's going to happen with a large tire such as this. Uh, but when I was coming down from some of the big jumps that I was doing, it landed so plush, so smooth, I was just in awe of it. I really, really liked the way it handled. I mean, over bumps and, and ruts and stuff like that as well, didn't upset it too much. Uh, I think they really nailed the handling of it. I think the sway bars are working really well. The suspension setup with the tune springs, I think works just great. The differentials laying down the power where you need it. Going through some of the turns and stuff over at the skate park, there was a bank turn. I mean, just kind of wild to see this truck, you know, just flopping the wheels around in the air and then it lands on all fours magically. It was just really cool. I even surprised myself at some of the stuff I was, I was doing with it. Uh, it's just that capable 
people. Well, that's what I'm trying to say here is I, you're going to be surprised with that. I mean, I've driven a few solid axle monster trucks in the past and you kind of feel like you're, you're edgy. You know, you're, you're not 100% comfortable. There's some good trucks out there. But this thing, you feel comfortable driving it. And I think that's what a lot of people are, are going to gravitate towards with this truck. It just, it's a comfortable driving experience. Uh, the steering on this is pretty awesome as well. You know, uh, the 614 servo in there, uh, you know, some people would say, oh, it's just a ready to run servo, but I, I think it works pretty well. There was some times where, you know, I could see that the wheels, there just wasn't enough torque for what I was doing. Um, so maybe a little bit more torque would be, you know, great later on down the road, but uh, I was pretty impressed with the steering on this. It does turn around pretty well. Lozy took what they, they know best, like A-scale drive lines and some of the other vehicles that they have out here, and they, they kind of just put everything into this and they created a, a all around great handling monster truck. I, I, I really enjoyed everything about it. Now to talk to you about you know the, the damage and it really wasn't that bad. Uh, I broke the brace and the rear wheelie bar and I did that when I was cartwheeling and it cracked the, the brace and I was able to fix it by just finding an old wing stay that was in my pit box and a, a zip tie and I was back in business. So. That might be one area that, uh, you know, if you find an aftermarket part for, you might want to get it, but that's really about it. I mean, we've got some cracks on the front of the body. It's to be expected when you're trying to do stoppies and stuff like that, or you, you land nose down after doing a backflip off of a fence or something like that, which this thing does. It's very cool. I tried it a lot. Um, you know, some paint missing off the front, and that's because the body folds down and hits the, uh, the, the frame plates. Uh, which is what happens with all of the, the twin frame uh, plate type vehicles. So not a big deal, but everything else is solid. There is just a little bit of axle slop, uh, not much at all. And I mean, like I said, I've been driving this thing a lot because I am hooked on it, uh, but nothing else uh, that, that really should be called out. I, I don't foresee any other issues with this. There is a little bit of driveline wine because you know, you've got all metal gears in there, but it's actually a pretty cool sound. This is so cool. I've been wanting to get into solid axle monster trucks and, and this truck has me hooked now. I really want to get into this segment even more because I think I'm really going to enjoy it. I think it's going to open up the doors for a lot of people to enjoy the, uh, the solid axle monster truck segment. And, and if you're just a backyard basher, this truck is not going to disappoint you. Awesome job, Losi. The LMT, it's incredible. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this really, really long review. I put a lot of time into it because I really love this truck. Oh, one last thing I wanted to mention, which I didn't talk about before, was they will have a roller as well. So for those of you that want to outfit one of these trucks with your own electronics, you'll be able to do that. If you have any thoughts or comments about this truck, please throw it in the section below. I'd be interested to hear about it. And if you haven't done so yet, please click the subscribe button, the notifications bell, throw the video a like, and we'll see you back soon for some more RC Driver videos.